Voice of the Sea, learning from experts across the ocean. Welcome to Voice of the Sea. This time on Voice of the Sea, we catch up with do-it-yourself visionary and engineer Tony Lasseri to see what aquaponics can look like in your front yard. Tony created a home aquaponics system complete with wind turbines he designed himself. When this filter gets full, unlike changing a filter on the car, I reverse these valves and I back flush, I take the energy that's going up to here and I back flush this into these filters. And how these filters work <clears throat> is the dirt, dirty water comes in here and slowly fills up the barrel. The cleanest water is at the top, the heavy uh, fall, and the cleanest water goes to there, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. By the time you get to the fourth barrel, the water is relatively clean. Then you turn the valves off, the water cycles back into the tank, and that's how you clean it. What you're left with is a kind of a goo here that is a fish emulsion that is really good for uh, growing in dirt. So my neighbor uh, grows in dirt, so nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes, Nothing to, goes waste. to waste. And about how much water do you have in circulation at, at any time in this system? Um, right now we have 2,500 gallons. And, and I know you harvest the plants, but do you also harvest your fish? Well, you can. <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, we're starting to name them. Oh. And it's difficult to eat something you've named. So, but yes, you can. We have about uh, 120 fish in there. And they range anywhere from that big to uh, little guys. Okay, yeah. Tony, so we have a really neutral pH but right. what do you do if your system gets too acidic? Uh, too acidic, um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but what I do is I add uh, coral from the ocean, and it brings it right down. Um, so I put coral in the biofilters, and that has a, um, a way of bringing down the pH. And if it gets, uh, if it gets too alkaline, um, then we can add uh, um, uh, vinegars um, if you want. Or there's pool stuff, too, that you can add. But yeah. Um, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to do. Um, and how much, do you mind if I ask the cost of setting up a system like this? Well, I this? built everything myself and designed it all myself, so the labor is not in there. But um, uh, something like this, we had an initial budget of $2,000, and we exceeded it uh, <laughs> by a little bit, as you can see. But um, I would say we're probably somewhere in the $3,500 range. Wow. Yeah. And, but what you have here is not only practical, it's a really beautiful setup, I imagine. Yeah, that yeah so a lot of it was kind of, you know, pretty stuff too, yeah. Setup. You know, that's, that setup over there where we sit, you know, in the rock and, and everything. If you wanted to do it bare bones, yeah, it could, you could do it a lot cheaper. So when we think, or at least when I think about aquaculture, I think about fish. Right. And then when I think about hydroponics, I think, think about, about plants. plants. Yeah, this is a perfect blend of the two. In, in, in hydroponics, you're taking water, and plants and you're adding all the nutrients they need and they have it down to such a science that they can put a tablet in and it'll grow a tomato bush of x size and they'll know it um, on this it's a little trickier because the fish don't always eat and 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 their waste products aren't consistent uh, they uh, the colder the water gets the less they eat the less active they sure. are so temperature has a lot to do with it and so it's very difficult to get an exact number on that but we found that these systems through talking through people like Bob and all, we found that these systems will kind of stabilize after about six months and they kind of go into autopilot. But to get the, the fish or the chicken or the egg, the fish or the plant, um, we started the plants, um, we, we um, fertilized them uh, with regular fertilizers and then we introduced the fish and then the fish started to take that roll over. But we did have a die off initially. And the die-off is because of the ammonia spike, which is typical of a fresh system before the bacteria takes hold. So you started first with the fish and... Well, the plants were in place, you know, they were quasi in place. Okay. The water was here and the plants were in place. We added the fish and we kept the plants alive until the fish were, um, you know, up and running. But once they're up and running, there is no bacteria in the system to take the, nit uh, the ammonia out of the system. So you have this huge ammonia spike. And on something like this, the ammonia was, um, it was, it was right. down here. It was very, it was, it, was, it, was, it was bad. And I was worried about the fish. And, um, but the fish are hardy, they survived it. The plants took a hit. Um, and then afterward, um, it stabilized. And then we got a nitrite spike. And then after that, so right now I am, I'm here and here and here and here. 
So that's where I'm at right now with my water. And that's where um, everybody seems to be happy. They're, giving, they're living in harmony at this point. Can you show that again and then sure. and use the words for sure. which one you're okay. talking about, which okay. level? So currently, my pH is in this range. My ammonia is in this range, which is good. The least amount of ammonia is good. My nitrites are in this range. Again, the least amount is good. And my nitrates are down in this range, which is good. Because that more of that means more nitrogen, means more for the uh, plants. Turn your love of the ocean into a lifelong career. Join NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, as we unlock the secrets in the deep oceans, track rapidly moving storms, model climate trends, protect and preserve our marine resources, and so much more. It's all in a day's work at NOAA. Find a career that makes a world of difference, enriching life through science, service, and stewardship. NOAA. The Curriculum Research and Development Group in the College of Education at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. CRDG has been providing quality educational programs and services for over 40 years, serving students, teachers, parents, educators, and experts around the world and here in Hawaii. The Curriculum Research and Development Group, improving schools, improving education, CRDG. University of Hawaii Sea Grant College program focused on Hawaii's coasts and its communities through sustainable development, safe seafood supply, sustainable coastal tourism, hazard resilience, and healthy coastal ecosystems. Hawaii Sea Grant Exploring Our Fluid Earth is a dynamic curriculum developed by the University of Hawaii's Curriculum Research and Development Group. Teaching ocean science concepts through the disciplines of physics, chemistry, biology, and ecology. Exploring Our Fluid Earth is now available freely online. Find out more at exploringourfluidearth.org.